All right, today we'll be making an assembly drawing. Now, you should have seen an assembly drawing yesterday when you created the eBay assembly over here. If you'll notice, unlike a part drawing, this has multiple pages. This first page has an exploded view, which you should have also created yesterday. That's right here. In the configurations, this is the same view as right there, and it's got a bill of materials. Let's go to make a drawing part and we'll talk about making a bill of material. Here's our drawing. Let's go for A4 landscape so it's going to look a little different. And you go down, there should be isometric exploded view. Try and make your exploded views in isometric because then it's easy. And you'll resize this so it fits on the page well. There we go. Make it shaded. Uh huh. So all of this should be familiar due to part drawings. But now we're going to insert a table called Bill of Materials. I'm going to select that. Click Yes. And here's our Bill of Materials. I'm going to get rid of this column here. Delete. Column. Oh, it fits perfectly right there. Now to annotate this, we'll go to the Annotation tab and grab a balloon. Now these balloons automatically select the number of the part. You can stack them. You can get rid of these question marks that pop up. And there we go. Everything corresponds to the numbers in the bill of materials. I want to say these numbers are generated in the order that these parts are placed in the assembly, like with the design tree. Okay. Yeah, there they are. So we'll go back to the drawing. There's that. And we want another image over on the view palette of the item itself. There we go, that's our eBay. Great. Now we need a new page. Let's see what we have on the new page. Ah, yes, configurations, just like we learned configurations in the assembly for exploded views. Now we'll make other configurations for the purpose of drawing. We'll go and collapse this and say, add configuration. And I'm gonna call this sled mount. Now to do that, we go back over here and select pieces that we want invisible, right click on them, and click the little down arrow to suppress them. Now this is only in our sled mount configuration, because if we do double click default, everything's back there. And here is sled mount. So back in our drawing, with our new sheet, we will refresh the view palette, and now we have this new selection of views. Now we want another creation, or while we're here, let's make an exploded view. Let's put ourselves in isometric. Then we'll select this, and this, and this, and move it out. Then we'll select this and this and move them out. And select this one finally to move it out. Well, let's see. Let's edit this one. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's better. So this is our exploded view for one configuration. Now, let's close this exploded view 
and say add configuration. And we'll call this just the sled. Just like we did with the other one. Suppress these. Suppress. And now we have a new view, which we'll add an exploded view to. Raise that up. And save the model. Now when we go here, we have several views to choose from. I'm just going to do one and you guys can do the rest. Go. Now you can select one view and another view and another view. Change these scales. and you will dimension the very basics. Its width, its height, its depth. And you will add any construction notes you need to. So there we go, that's the eBay sled construction. Let's edit the, edit the sheet format. And you guys can practice going on making this sheet, just like I told you. See here I added bubbles to show which pieces were what. Make sure to add any specific dimensions so the person putting this assembly bay together with the pieces will know what goes where. And you just continue on like you see this little angle between the switch ring holes and the sled axis. That's how you make an assembly drawing. They can be many sheets long depending on the complexity of the part. They can be a single sheet. Like if we look at the aft section, this is just a single sheet. It's a very simple assembly. Just the motor tube and the three fins. F is on a single sheet, whereas this eBay, a little more complex, has more internal parts. It required more than one sheet. That is assembly drawings. Go ahead and make more for the rest of your assemblies.